guys what's going on my name is Lewis and God bless every single one of you today is March 19 2024 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here April solar eclipse could cause widespread cell phone disruptions for millions of Americans official warn more than 3.7 million people are set to visit states along the solar eclipse path. Officials are preparing for cellular disruption due to a strain on local networks. Solar eclipse will block out the sun for over 30 million people. April the 8th, that's the date. But a lot of people are not talking about March 25th, the blood moon. Everybody been so quiet about that. That blood moon, again, 2 billion people could see that blood moon. March 25th. And nobody's talking about it. It's like, again, that sign of the heaven is quiet. Why? Now, I know this one here is huge. Uh, we're talking about the Great American Eclipse. And you have multiple states declared emergency for this event, for the solar eclipse. Now, they are telling residents to stock up, get stuff that could last for three days, fill up your tanks, make sure your phone is fully charged. In certain states, they're telling uh, many to stay inside. You have grocery stores, convenience stores, they're telling the uh, owners to stock up, get inventory up to date, just in case uh, many, uh, again, they're saying they could be stranded because of traffic and other issues. But I believe there's a possibility, guys. There could be great shaking going on. And it's been proven that, again, solar eclipse, even solar flares could cause earthquake, tectonic plates shifting. And you guys know the New Madrid, that's where that great American eclipse is going to pass that New Madrid. And there's been, uh, you know, again, throughout history, the Mississippi River was going backwards. The church bells were ringing and there was a strong quake that hit that region. Now, I want to show you something really quick. I want to show you something. This is very, very, very important. Give me a second here. Let me just bring this up. This is coming out from strangesounds.org. They put out this information. All right. So there is this newspaper here I want to bring up. This newspaper, take a look at this newspaper here. It was posted... March what? 1979? <laughs> 1979? Hold on, give me a second here. Oh, 1970! A newspaper from 1970 forecasting this year's solar eclipse, April the 8th. Wow! So, 54 years ago, <laughs> this newspaper the Sunday Journal. Millions see eclipse. Next showing in 2024. Look at that. Blackout total in some areas. So there was a blackout in that year. There was a blackout. in the world i'm sorry i'm looking at this here um give me a second give me a second let me just um hold on i want to zoom it in because i want to read that but uh, it's so faded all right so in 1970, give me a second, 1970 solar eclipse. What happened in 1970? 
Was there an earthquake? Uh, give me a second here. There is, n there is also no evidence to suggest the eclipse was directly related to the earthquake that impacted this land, but it might be fair to suggest the moon's gravitational trigger the earthquake. What happened in March 7, 1970? Do you witness the great solar eclipse on March 7, 1970? Totality crossed Florida and skirted up the United States eastern seaboard, but a partial eclipse was visible across the contagious 48 states in Nashville. The partial eclipse began at 11.04 a.m. and lasted until 2.35 p.m. All right, so once again, this is, uh, I guess, this newspaper here from 1970. But this newspaper, it says blackout total in some areas. Okay, so uh, again, I'm thinking about power outages. Uh, so I, again, that's basically the sun and the moon, uh, the solar eclipse blackout. All right, so... Um, Let's go back with this one here really quick. I want to finish this off right here, and then we're going to go with the news article. All right, so once again, uh, solar eclipse will block out the sun for over 30 million. All right, millions of tourists are expected to flock to the path of totality during the solar eclipse on April the 8th, 2024. And experts warn the influx could disrupt cellular activity. Up to 1 million are set for taxes, 500,000, in Indiana and Ohio, and nearly 400,000 could travel to New York. Oh, wow! To New York and state officials. You know what? The increased demand could uh, trigger connection delays or drop calls. Wow. Multiple area, even big cities, are going to be packed. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. If you can, please share this video. Here we go. Now it says here, this is coming out from the Daily Mail. Once again, millions of tourists are expected to flock to the path of totality during the solar eclipse on April the 8th. An expert warned that the influx could disrupt cellular activity. Now let's see what's going on here. Jeez, I'm trying to pause a lot of stuff here. Man, this this article is packed <laughs> with a lot of videos and pictures and advertisement. So up to 1 million are set for taxes, 500,000 in Indiana and in Ohio and nearly 400,000 in New York. So Texas is going to be the biggest one, 1 million. All right, so it says here, and state officials blank the increase demand could trigger connection delays or drop calls. To ease the burden on sleeping giant town, T-Mobile is deploying additional cell sites. There will be a on standby in areas expecting hours tourist traffic. Uh, I was thinking about the uh, outage that T-Mobile had. So there's a possibility maybe they were testing the water uh, when that uh, outage or whatever, cyber. But uh, yeah, this is what's going on right now. So you have T-Mobile, big companies are sounding the alarm. And you see that line that's going from, uh, I believe Dallas, if I'm not mistaken, heading up to towards Maine. That's the New Madrid. That is that is the New Madrid. Um, the New Madrid is like the subduction zone in, uh, in the West Coast, the Cascadia subduction zone which a lot of people call the big one so according to experts which one is worse the big one or the new madrid expert says the new madrid 
if that thing gets another strong shake, it will actually split that piece. And basically, the sleeping giant will be two parts separate. And yeah, it was split in half. There's a possibility. That, again, that's why um, they have um, declared emergency in multiple states, just in case. Who knows? But uh, we've seen a lot of signs of the heavens. There's been a lot of solar eclipse. There's been so many blood moon. I mean, how come this March 25th, how come nobody is talking about it? Why, again, because it's not that important. Because it's not striking the New Madrid. This one here is more important. Because it's the New Madrid. But the blood moon, 2 billion people will see that. A lot more people is going to see the blood moon than, uh, than this here. So it says in a small Ohio town, which could see 250,000 visitors, Verizon is setting up a portable tower ahead of the cosmic event. All right. Man, these are exciting times. Signs of the heavens. It started at the very beginning, at the very beginning in the book of Genesis, where God said there would be a greater light that would govern the day and a lesser light that would govern the night. And let them be for signs and seasons. The daylight is the sun and nighttime is the moon. Now, scripture tells us that there will be signs to come. Guys, when I look at this, you guys know that the moon is right. Again, you got the sun behind it, and the moon is kind of blocking the sun. So when the moon kind of turns towards this way, the light, the sun appears. So it's amazing. It's like, uh, it's, it's like the stone being moved from the cave that Jesus once was in. And once that stone was moved, the light walked out from that cave. So when I see this, I see this as the stone being moved and the light is our Lord and Savior. It's a reminder that Christ is with us. And Jesus said there will be signs in the heavens, in the sun, the moon, and the stars. The stars, even experts, are sounding the alarm. There's a star 3,000-something light years away. I don't know. It's very far. Uh, again, according to experts and NASA and all of them, there will be a sun that will explode this year. And the night nice sky here in our planet will be a little bright. You're going to see something up in the sky. It's not going to be the North Star. It's going to be another one, a star that... So we are seeing a lot of signs of the heavens. Exciting times of biblical prophecy. All right. So it says here, Rebecca, director of the Richland County Emergency Management Authority, told the Richland source cell phone reception will be very, very sketchy. There will be lots of issues with connectivity and that type of thing. Well, it's true. If you are, let's say, in one location and there's like thousands of people, there's going to be bad reception. I remember going to D.C. Uh, it was the March of Prayer uh, back in 2020. It was packed. I tried to do a live stream on this platform. It just the reception was so bad. So again, uh, when you are in one location and there's a lot of people, it, it, it just the connection is going to be terrible. All right. So the total solar eclipse occurs when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun, briefly turning the outdoors dark during the daytime. This uh, spectacle uh, will be visible to an estimated 32 million along a narrow path through North and Central 
America. It will mark the first total solar eclipse visible anywhere in the world de since December 2021, and the first seen from the sleeping giant since August 2017. Whatever your location along the path of totality, the total eclipse should be visible for about four minutes. Mm. Can this be a sign? Yes. The Bible said, let it be for signs of season. I believe it is a warning sign. There's a possibility this sleeping giant is down to their last generation. Why, Lewis? The abomination that is being celebrated in this sleeping giant that once stood for God. It all started in the 60s and the 70s. That's when things started, people celebrating the abomination. People like, you know, peace. You know, those peace people and the D-R-U-G-S and everybody having a good time. Yeah, that was like the first uh, mark right there, 1970 eclipse. Now we have this one here, which is the another mark. Um, and in 2024, you guys already see that the sleeping giant has recognized the abomination as something normal. And the final one I do believe uh, will be possibly when is the next solar eclipse? I believe it's going to be 2050. I, I believe that will be the final one. And I believe the sleeping giant will collapse. Give me a second here. The next, after, after April the 8th, the next one will be May 20th of 2050. I believe that will be the end of the sleeping giant. And the reason why I'm saying this, listen up. Um... The abomination was not uh, created to last eternity. Love is eternity. Abomination does not last. It's like a candle. It's just going to turn off. All right. Um, so those that celebrate these cultures, the abomination, you guys already know, June. They celebrate June, you know. I'm not going to say the name because of the platform, but the abomination is being celebrated. And they said scriptures gives us an idea that when you celebrate these things, the land falls. Sodom and Gomorrah and many other lands. Scriptures talks about these things. And the reason why they fall is because the abomination was not meant to last forever. It's not eternity. There is an end end date to it the sleeping giant will see its end and i do believe it's take up to three generations and each generation is 20 30 years so let's say 90 years that will mark it from 1970 to 2050 that's like almost three generation there so i do believe that these solar eclipse are signs warning signs to the sleeping giant your time is coming Again, Sleeping Giants is falling apart. It's starting in a church. The church that is clowns preaching. I'm not trying to be... Again, we are seeing the church is upside down. We are seeing those in the spotlights are not Christ-like. Pay attention, Sleeping Giants. Pay attention. All right, let's go back to this one here. So it says, whatever your location along the path of totality, the total eclipse should be visible for about four minutes. AT&T analyzed network traffic during the 2027 eclipse in the Sleeping Giant, finding a more than double spike in text 
activity during the 24 hours of eclipse path of totality versus the previous Monday. Data showed a 40% increase in text messaging and a 15% jump in voice calls within those 24 hours. ULF, um, skip that name, the president of technology at T-Mobile said T-Mobile is working hand in hand with state and local authorities to address the anticipated surge in network traffic to guarantee seamless connectivity for all. Wow. Look at this, guys. Look what they're putting out there. I never seen anything like this. Never, ever seen anything like it. I mean, we've seen so many so many solar i mean all these signs of the moon i mean this is like the biggest one something's about to go down <laughs> man wow one thing i tell people stay away from large gathering stay away from large gathering arkansas this is the big one is along the path of totality where state officials are preparing for the tourist boom that could see the current 3 million population double in size. You have uh, Mr. Davis uh, from the Fayetteville said during a legislative meeting in December, I'm concerned about cellular communication. Are the cellular providers in a state part of this plan? AR Division of Emergency Management Director AJ Gary told council members communication con uh, continuity will be one of the top challenges during the eclipse. Cell companies are involved in the communication. We also can bring in additional cell on wheels to boost that capacity. Up north in Maine, Franklin County is also holding discussion to prepare for limited or even no smartphones service where tens of thousands of visitors are expected worrying that cell coverage is scarce as it is once again you have franklin county emergency services coordinator rob told um the daily enterprise that the town is working with the department of homeland to map all roads for cell coverage. And in Texas, which is said to see more than 1 million out-of-towners, officials are advising people to enable Wi-Fi calling in the event of service interruption. The Lone Star State could, see, could also see a significant drop in solar generation. Hugh Kutcher, a data scientist for Solar Power Forecaster, Solcast said individual assists will lose up to 16% of their daily uh, irradiance, irradiance. I totally apologize if I say that name wrong. He also predicted there will be an overall 11.7% loss of state's total daily solar generation. Generation, generation, generation. I mentioned three generation. The first generation, you guys already know, it started with the hippies, peace, and so many other stuff. That's when uh, things started like party time and, uh, again, giving in marriage and drinking and all that type of stuff. The second generation, the sleeping giants, have accepted, well, you guys already know, the marriage, but the opposite. And the sleeping giants are celebrating, celebrating the abomination in June. The third generation, I don't know what the third generation would look like, but it seems like the third generation will erase the history of the sleeping giant. The, the new ones that's coming into the sleeping giant from the southern region, they would completely change it forever. 
there would be so much lawlessness. I mean, it's just the sleeping giant has been given up to foreigners. And I do believe the sleeping giant is facing judgment. Why? Well, many has walked away from the church. The church is empty. Now, Louis, their church packed. Yeah, well, go check out that church and see what they're preaching. <laughs> it's not lining up with scriptures. It's not lining up with scriptures. One thing I tell you, people, uh, people need to start repenting because we are seeing the signs. And according to some scholars and experts and Christian people that read the scripture really good, when a land walks away from God and starts celebrating the abomination, they don't last forever. They will collapse. And throughout scriptures, they have collapsed. Sleeping giant, you're next. And again, guys, we have seen that uh, sleeping giants being given up to lawlessness. Like any eclipse, it's important not to look directly at the sun with the naked eye while the event is happening, not even through sunglasses, binoculars, or a telescope. A simple pinhole, projector, solar eclipse, viewing glasses, which can be purchased online, or special solar filters are much safer. Well, here we go. Would a sleeping giant walk away from all these wickedness? I'm sorry, guys. Every single day I wake up, more and more, a uh, sleeping giant is becoming, again, worse. Not too many is repenting. And even other lands is saying the sleeping giant are asking for fire. Persia, the bear, again, follow me with the cold words, these are countries I'm referring to. Even the bear said, sleeping giant once were a land that fear God. Not anymore. Hmm. Prepare yourself. Uh, there's a possibility, sleeping giant, final year, possibly in the 2050. I will be... I think I'd be 70 years old. Uh, again, guys, this is where we at. The sleeping giant is not what it used to be. I don't recognize this sleeping sleeping giant anymore. And if you think the 4-5 is going to save the sleeping giant, you're wrong. The sleeping giant has been given over to a reprobate mind. And I believe the sleeping giant has been given up to a debased mind. So... In the end time, man is going to say, I will save it. Mm -mm. Forget that. You better save yourself spiritually. You got to save yourself. Everything else, all this is going to see fire. Scripture said in the end time, all this is going to see fire. Even the, I mean, the heavens elements would go out with a big bang. Everything will be completely obliterated. The heavens, elements, all this will be gone. So what's the point of saving it? It's going to be gone. What you need to save is yourself, spiritually. You need to repent and believe in Christ. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but to Jesus. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. I'm going to keep it updated on this uh, solar eclipse. But March 25th. Blood moon. Blood moon. Two billion people is going to see that, but nobody is paying attention. Oh, man, there's a blood moon? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, but uh, again, um, that's going to be like Australia and other certain parts of the world. But that's still big. That's signs of the heavens. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.